Today we're making braised short ribs with a fennel onion glaze by cooking with bacon. Here's what it's going to look like. Pretty darn good. Here's what you're going to need. It's going to take about five hours and cost just under 22 bucks, but it'll be worth it. To start off, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Salt and pepper your short ribs, put them bone side down, and throw them on in. And then after 45 minutes, we're going to take these out so we can pour off the grease. Keep the grease in a separate bowl though because we're going to need it later. We're going to then return the short ribs to the pan and put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Look at those. Isn't that great? After 15 minutes, we're going to take them out and pour off the grease again. In the same pan, we're going to throw in our cup of red wine. This will help us get the nice crunchy bits that are baked off of the short ribs. We're going to do a quick time lapse. Just bring it to a simmer and then you're going to set that aside. In a separate saucepan, we're going to take the two tablespoons of grease, throw in our onions, carrots, and celery, and cook for about 12 minutes until the vegetables are nice and soft. We're then going to add the garlic for about 30 seconds, and then we're going to add the flour. The flour is going to seal in the flavor, stir for about 40 seconds until it's nice and combined, and then we're going to throw in the red wine. Now we're going to throw in the chicken stock. We have our spices, tomato and tomato paste, we're going to stir it in, maybe add in a little bit of salt. Next, we're going to put the short ribs back in their original pan. We're going to pour this sauce right over the top of them, completely submerging them. If they're not completely submerged, you might want to add a little bit of water. Now that the oven's at 300 degrees, we're going to throw them in for two hours, covered, pull them out. Wow! Does that look good? Of course that looks good. Here's a close-up of it. Let's take the short ribs out, strain it, might be a two-person job, but then we're going to make the glaze. For the glaze, you're going to need about an hour, pretty easy. So we're going to start off by cooking the four strips of bacon for about 12 minutes on medium heat. This will get them nice and crispy. In the same pan, we're going to throw in the onion and fennel. Then we're going to add in the sugar and salt for about eight minutes until it's nice and caramelized. Pour back in the soup, about eight minutes, then we're going to nestle in our short ribs. Wow, don't those look good? Nestle, 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 nestle. Let's take about five minutes, and that's it. You take them out, short look, rib looks great. Let's put some of the glaze over the top. This is our onion fennel. We're going to put some bacon on there. Doesn't that look fantastic? An expert meal. You can do it. I can do it. Fantastic. This has been a great time. I'm Christian McMahon with Cooking with Bacon.